Hi friends, now that you have understood what is Python and have installed Python on your machine, it's time to try some code. Let us begin this journey of understanding Python coding techniques from one of the very fundamental module of Python, Python variables. Variables are the identifiers and these are used to hold values. A variable also allocates a specific memory for a particular variable. In Python, we don't need to mention data type of variable as Python is intelligent enough to pick type of variable from variable itself. You can say Python is type infer language. There are few rules which you should take care of while declaring a variable. We will understand these rules through code as well. The basic rule is the first character of a Python variable must be an alphabet or underscore. All the characters except the first character may be an alphabet or underscore or any digit between 0 to 9. A Python variable should not have white space or any special character like dollar, hash, at the rate, etc. The variable name must not be similar to any keyword defined in Python. Python reserves certain keywords for example true, false, import, break, continue, etc. We cannot use these reserved keywords as a variable. And the last rule is Python variables are case sensitive. For example, this variable email id is not same as this variable email id. Let's understand these rules through code now. Suppose you are developing a software for any organization and you want to declare name of employee as a variable. You can perform this requirement like this. Name employee. Let's initialize this variable with value John. If you run this code and try to see the value stored in the variable name employee, you can use print function. Print function is an inbuilt Python function to display the value stored by a variable in console. So here you can see Python interpreter happily accepts this variable name as a correct variable. If I replace the first character of the variable with underscore and rerun the code then we do not see any issue or any error which means an underscore is also an acceptable special character to be used as a python variable. However, if I replace underscore with any other special character say dollar and if I run the code it throws an error. Let us check for any other special character for example at the rate and if I rerun the code I see same error, invalid syntax. Now let us take another example. Let me replace first position of this python variable with a digit or any number, let's say 1. Now if I run this piece of code, it still throws the same error. From this exercise, you can clearly understand that we cannot use any special character other than underscore or any digit at first position of a python variable. Now let us understand another rule. If I give a space, a white space between name and employee and execute the code, it gives me an error, the same error, invalid syntax, which makes us understand that we cannot use a white space while writing a variable name. We also talked about that we cannot use a reserved python keyword 
as an identifier or variable python reserves certain keywords like true false break continue etc which we cannot use as a variable name let us see an example to understand this rule if i replace the variable name employee with a reserved keyword let's say true and if i run this code it throws an error cannot assign to keyword you can also try with any other keyword say false again same error i hope now you must have got the idea of this concept now let's understand another concept python is a case sensitive language let's go back to previous correct variable name name employee and initialize it with value son now let us consider another variable with a very little change in the name let me make this small n of name employee as capital n and initialize it with some different value say smith if i run this piece of code and check the value stored in these two variable using print function i see both variables hold different values however the variable names have very little difference of letter casing only from this exercise we can see python is a case sensitive language let me bring into discussion another very important concept of python variable declaration in any of the variable names discussed before we have not mentioned any kind of data type before declaring a variable for example in java if you were to initialize this variable name name employee which will hold a collection of characters that is a string you would have to put a string here before variable name so that java interpreter would validate it as a correct variable but no, no such concept of data types is there in python the interpreter implicitly binds the value with its type however you can use type function to check data type of any variable in python type function is an inbuilt python function which provides data type of the variable passed to it if i try to check data type of variable name employee i can do something like this it says that this variable belongs to class string suppose you also need to declare the age of employee as a variable which will be a number and you initialize it with a value say 25 so in python you do not need to put a number into quotes here you have not mentioned the data type but if you check the data type using type function it says this variable belongs to class integer which is correct i believe you would have got an idea why python is a type in for language because its interpreter automatically binds its type to its variable now you have an understanding of python variables we will discuss another module that is operator in the next tutorial if you like this content please like our tutorial and share it with your friends please subscribe our channel to be notified about our next tutorial